Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel Laura's Little Library. My name is Laura, and this is my September bullet journal spread theme, Gravity Falls. Alright, so if you've seen my last bullet journal video, the one for August, I did a lazy beach theme and the video, to put it nicely, was a hot mess. And I'm warning you now, this one is slightly better. I still had some struggles with my camera and some bleeding on this one, but it's much better than the last one. So for my title page, I didn't leave any space between this month's spread and last month because I didn't want to waste any paper. And so I decided to start it off with the picture of one of the books from Gravity Falls with the six-fingered hand on it. If you haven't seen the TV show, you won't get a lot of these references. So just have that in mind. I put the number nine on it because even though there are only three journals, I decided to do the number of the month. As you can see, I am currently using crayons to color in the spread. This is because I thought I had colored pencils slash I know I have colored pencils somewhere, but I couldn't find them and I really wanted to get going on the spread because I am starting this month off with a bang in terms of my reading and I need somewhere to put that information. So I will be using crayons for the duration of the spread and then for the outline I attempted to use just a regular Papermate black ink pen but it was having a really hard time going over the pencil and just showing up and working so I do switch to a sharpie however I have problems with the sharpie bleeding through on other pages. So once I finished coloring in the book, I also made sure to color the pages to give the old feeling. I started on the first spread in this month, and it is my TBR spread, and I'm calling it the TBR Shack after the Mystery Shack. So I did my best drawing interpretation of the shack. And like I said, I am outlining everything in Sharpie, and so you can see how it bleeds onto other pages. It wasn't too bad of a problem when I had crayons to color over it with. You could still keep the two spreads separate from each side of the page, but if there wasn't a lot of color on the page, it does seep through and it is kind of a bummer. So if you have real art supplies and materials, use what you have. I decided to put the books that I'm going to read this month on the roof as if they were the shingles so that the design could be the main focus of this page but it would still serve a TBR purpose of books I want to actually read. Also, I'm very sorry for all the camera adjustments and angle changes that there are throughout this video. I had so many problems with my camera stopping, falling down, dying, just so many issues. But then the next spread I decided to move on to is the event calendar, which I am keeping from the last spread that I did. I really like just having a place where I can put all different events, readathons, or reading sprints hosted by different booktubers that I want to follow along with or things on Instagram, anything bookish related. So for designs on this one, I ended up using some of the little designs at the end page of the theme song where you see that image of Bill and a bunch of all the different symbols and a lot of math and note taking. I use those as decorations throughout the entire spread. So here I am just outlining the calendar for the month of September.
I decided to use Gravity Falls as the theme for this month because I thought it was the perfect transition from summer to spooky as the show takes place during summer but it's all about these creepy weird things and it's got lots of good Halloween vibes which I'm going towards but I do recognize it is still early in the season but as soon as September 1st hits I do start getting into full spooky mode. So I wrote October at the end just to let myself know that October is the next month. I wrote uh, Don't Trust Stan in the letters that are again from that paused bill page and then I took a yellow-ish crayon to kind of fill in the background to give it that old book texture and coloration and I did decide to keep the calendar white as that was the real material on the page. Next I am moving on to my books box spread. This is a page that I did not do in my last video and I wish I had as many times throughout the month as I was gaining books. I wanted to keep track of what books I got that month and if I had hauled them yet or not. So I decided to create a page for it in this month's spread and I think I will most likely keep it because I know I will be buying more books this month and so I decided to do a bunch of the different journal covers on this page. I believe I did nine of them, although I will probably honestly buy more than nine books, so keep your eye out for a large book haul coming soon. And I decided I'm going to put the titles within the hand, but I will mark in some way, shape, or form if I have hauled them in a video or not. I'll probably just put little check marks by the corner of the books, although I'm gonna buy them all at once. I know this in advance and I won't always know this for future spreads, but that's why they will be different in future videos. Um, but I'll just put little check marks next to each book when I have included it in a haul video. I tried my best at block letters for the top of all of these spreads, just like uh, what the Mystery Shack lettering is. And I put it in that dark foresty green that is a common color within the show. And again, I just went through and colored each journal respectively. I didn't put too much detail into them because there are a lot of them. They are smaller and I wanted to make sure I had plenty of space to write the author as well as the title and the status of the haul. On the next page is my books read spread and so I decided to use the pine tree that is on Dipper's hat and seen throughout the forest in the show. I did outline the tree in green, start to color it in, and then realize his hat is blue and the trees are blue on the symbols. So I kind of just tried to go over it in blue and save it a little bit. I had the exact same thought process with the trunk. I was like, oh, tree's trunks are brown. And I was like, wait, no, it's still blue in the show. So this one's a little bit messy, but of course that was gonna happen as, as I am still getting used to doing things like this. So I added a couple other major symbols from the show, such as Stan's hat and the question mark on Zeus, as well as the mystery shack itself. And I did the same header, as I said I've been going to do, and then there was a lot of blank space at the bottom, so I decided to add in a whole bunch of squiggly writing, different symbols, and all just these different little symbols and pieces of math that I saw on the frame with all of Bill's information. And so I just copied it all down and put it all next to each other, trying to make it as random and as frantic as they were written in the journal.
I did take out some spreads from my past uh, month of August because I found that they weren't helpful and that I wasn't using them as much. So I decided to keep it short and actually only include what I would want to use or what I have used. So this next page, I am keeping the rankings and what I did is I took different symbols of the characters and I use them as my rankings, even though I wouldn't say the symbols of the characters represent my character rankings. I try to keep it that way, but it's partially like favorite characters as well as just favorite symbols. So I have Dipper's tree, Stan's little hat symbol, his figure eight from his stand. I have the star and then I have the question mark at the bottom as that's the most basic and then I did do a doodle of Bill at the bottom either for the best or the worst. I haven't decided yet because Bill was such a good villain but he was the villain. He was the worst character. So after rankings I did a videos brainstorm page and then I also did Instagram and book talk and these are just very plain very simple pages for me to write down my brainstorms and ideas for posting on all of these social media sites and actually engaging with the community so I just have that same green block lettering and then I have my goals at the bottom of them. My last page is a final page and it just is a page for anything bookish related that doesn't get its own area and then I leave blank space at the end to have my own book reviews afterwards. So now I'm just going to do a quick run through of all the spreads, seeing how they turned out. I was very happy at the very beginning where I had lots of different themed symbols and then as you go throughout the spread you can see there is less effort and I was getting very annoyed at the whole filming process but next time I will plan more in advance and do better. Thank you so much, don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other social media down below but until the next one I wish you happy reading. Thank you.